Now, how do you stretch carpet? Onto a hallway when you have open doorways on both sides and you gotta create gripper metal walls to finish everything off. Now, before I dive into the content of this video, I just wanna let any installer know that is watching this video right now, if you wanna increase your income in 2020, then I am hosting a masterclass call on Thursday, January 16th at 6.30 p.m. Eastern time. The cost to jump on the call is only $12, and you may be wondering, why would I give you $12? Well, if I give you one strategy, just one crappy strategy, that you're able to increase your income by $100 a week for the entire year of 2020, wouldn't $12 be worth it? Without a doubt. And I hope to deliver far more value to you than that. Anyway, let's get into the content of this. So we just seemed on this little hallway right here going up to a staircase and we're going to stretch that on right up to the stairs to get that nice and tight now next we have the width to deal with here so i'm going to finish trimming and tucking that in we got one little section here we're going to lob that off with a nice sharp blade we'll watch your fingertips grab the hook knife i'm going to go ahead and tuck that in right to the stair to give it a nice clean finish there then we are going to go ahead and start on the width here so oh you wonder why I'm tapping this down? Because this is the cheapest carpet of all time and the tack strip will actually poke through the carpet and stab your toes. So we just take a hammer to it one time to make sure those nails go down. It doesn't get the new owner's toes when they're running up and down the stairs. Everybody's safe and happy to go. So now we are on one side of this here. We got a utility room on one side, laundry room on the other side. So right now I'm on the laundry room side and we dropped a gripper metal in the doorway there just to give them a nice little happy path from the stairs to the landing to the family room we just carpeted. So we're going to go ahead and we ran our blade right along that there. Now we're going to take our hook knife and tuck it right into that gripper metal. Make sure everything tucks nice and clean. Cut off any hairs that might be sticking out so you're good to go. We're going to finish lobbing off the rest of that excess carpet there. Just running our blade right down the metal. Good, good. Grab the hook knife again. Run that down, tucking it into the lip of the metal there. Make sure everything's looking good. No hairs, blah, blah, blah. Everything's perfect. Now we're going to go ahead and grab the knee kicker. We're going to give it a little tap, tap, just securing it into the metal there. I'm going to take my hammer, tap that down. You could also use a rubber mallet for this, or you could take a piece of carpet, fold it in half, and then place that on top of the metal, then hit that with the hammer. That'll help avoid some dings and bangs into the metal there if you don't have a nice consistent tap to ya. So we're going to keep working our way down, getting over to the staircase here. We're almost there. Just keep stretching as you go. Make sure it stays nice and tight into the lip of that gripper metal. Tap it down so it pinches the carpet right into place. Boom, boom, boom. Everything's looking good. And then just look over your metal there. See if you have any divots or anything that need to be evened out. Tap them down. Everything will be good to go. And take you over to the other side here. Grab my knife. We're going to cut down the sides, make it nice and manageable to work with. Good there. All right, let's get down to stretching this on here. I actually get a phone call in the middle of this, so the video skips out and skips back in. I can't stand when that happens. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this excess down, make it nice and manageable to work with. Always, always, always use a super sharp blade, but always watch your fingers as well. You do not want to get hurt in the process, which is all too common. Even for professional carpet guys, we get cut on a regular basis, but we know how to fix those cuts. That's the difference between the DIY type and the carpet guy. We know how to tape ours back together. Going to go ahead and crease it onto that gripper metal there. Boom, boom. Everything's locked on. Now I want to get my knife. I'm going to go ahead and cut it down there. Everything's good. I'm going to cut it this way now. Everything's good there. Get my hook knife. We're going to tuck that in. I don't know what I'm tucking there. There we go. Tuck them right down to the metal. Everything's good. And once I know that's in place, now I need to get my hammer. Tap this up. Tap it down. Finish it off and get my check. So we're going to stretch it in the metal just for good measure. Make sure everything's locked in place. Take the hammer. Tap as we go. Make sure it's getting secured. Cut any loose hairs that might be in the way. Get the kicker. Finish stretching into the metal there. Getting the width. Do you see that? See that? My knife just bit me there. You see I jumped all that? It happens consistently. You got to be careful. And then we're just going to finish working our way over to the stair. And that is the final result. So, like I said, link for that masterclass call in the description below. Thank you so much for checking this out. And I look forward to connecting with you on the next video.